Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here. So really big announcements for Celsius. The effective date has been established as the 31st. Over the next two weeks or so, people, yourself, will get emails from Coinbase and PayPal for how to get your money off of those platforms. So here's what I'm gonna cover in this video. They updated the FAQ. I'm gonna go through a couple of the updates from today about getting your crypto off and what the next couple weeks will look like. I'm gonna to touch on a couple pictures that people are receiving, like redeeming claim codes for PayPal and what that looks like. This, which I'll cover in just a moment, is how people will get their equity in Ionic Digital, this new co that will be in charge of the mining. I'm then gonna go through the 16 page document talking all about exactly how much people are gonna be getting back. So I will just scroll down really quickly. There is this chart right around here that does show exactly how much people are going to be getting back. Now in this video or possibly another video, I'm gonna break down why I don't really understand how they got to these numbers and why I think they are smaller than they definitely should be. Other creditors like Tony and also Natty have also been finding some issues with how much money or how much crypto we are getting back to the tune of possibly over $1 billion. So I'm gonna cover that maybe in an entirely separate video because I don't wanna make this video too long. So let me start out by going through the updates from this FAQ. Before I go through all of that, if you have not joined my email list, I'll include the link to this below. You want to go and enter your name and email because I will email you when I put out any videos or when there's anything that you need to do, especially around right now. So if you're not on my list, go ahead and join it. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to include my Bitcoin donation address or my PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, or Coinbase. If you do want to send me a tip for the work that I've been doing over the last 19 months or so, helping guys out with this bankruptcy. You definitely don't have to, but once you get a distribution, if you feel like sending me a tip, that would be awesome. I believe from Venmo, PayPal, and Coinbase, you can send crypto directly to somebody else. So I'll include that information below for you guys if you'd like. So the first thing about claim distributions. So they said it'll take up to two weeks to send instructions to everybody about their claims. So do not worry if you're not getting any emails and you're seeing other people get emails. It will take up to two weeks. And if they say two weeks, I expect it to take three to four weeks. So this will come in chunks. Some people will get emails. Some people will get information like here about how to redeem their coins on PayPal and also Coinbase. For some, it'll happen maybe the next couple of days and others it'll happen in a week or two. Here they say there are some creditors who are not eligible for a claim distribution and will not receive claim distribution instructions. These are people that have a claim less than 10 bucks or if you have a preference withdrawal exposure, AKA a clawback and there will be a lot more phishing attempts. There will be so many more fake emails trying to scam you right now, guys. Now is the time to be extra, extra, extra diligent and careful when you're opening emails and especially if you link your wallet like a MetaMask or something to a website. Do not do any of that right now. No crypto will come from the Celsius app. None. But here they say when you're receiving emails, make sure it's from the official email address on Stretto. So they do have the estimated recovery percentages, but they do say that they expect to provide an update on these amounts. So I'll get to that in just a moment, a little bit later in this video. They did give us the initial recovery percentage, but they may actually update it, and I have a feeling they will. So real quick, I wanna talk about the sponsor of the video, which is Aura, and they really mastered online safety, and what they do is quite a lot. So they help you stay safe online with financial fraud protection, identity theft protection, and all sorts of other features that I have used, and some that I actually haven't used, but they have a lot of features here that are very, very good for online safety. Being in the Celsius bankruptcy, which thankfully is almost over, we have had all of our information completely sold to probably many, many companies and many people. Our information is in really, really bad people's hands. And what Aura does is it just adds a layer of protection. It takes your information off the dark web and out of data brokers hands. And it allows me just to have one extra layer of protection just so I can relax a little bit more at night. So 
they are offering a 14-day free trial, which I highly suggest checking out. I have been using Aura basically the entire 2023, and I have no plans on stopping for 2024 or any time in the future. So you can go to the link aura.com forward slash Aaron Bennett, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. And now let's get back to the video. So this is a new one from this FAQ. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you may want to watch that or just read through this FAQ if you haven't seen this website. I highly recommend you read this, but I will just talk about the new ones. Will I still receive a distribution if I did not vote for the plan? Yes, generally, creditors who did not vote for the plan will receive a distribution. However, several factors may affect the timing of your distribution, including but not limited to whether you opted out of the class claim settlement. So you would have only done that if you had actually checked a box saying, I want to opt out. I told everybody not to opt out of the class claim when we did that because I knew that it would postpone your distributions. And also if you have a withdrawal preference exposure, those of you guys that have retail clawback stuff know exactly what's going on. You guys are in the Telegram groups and you guys are aware of that stuff. And remember, that you will have one year to withdraw your crypto from Coinbase. They shouldn't actually say withdraw because you can leave your crypto at Coinbase. Really, it's about claiming your crypto at Coinbase or PayPal. So one year for Coinbase, one year for PayPal slash Venmo to claim your crypto. So I want to talk about this alternative distribution email inside of the Celsius app. And apparently this is for people that could not match their Celsius email to their Coinbase email. So some people got this in their app, which I did mention yesterday. And if your emails match, if you are not in the US and you're getting your distribution via Coinbase and your Coinbase email is the same as Celsius, you don't need to add a separate email. And if you add the email again, you actually get an error, I believe, saying that you can't add the same email twice or whatever. And just to reiterate, if you have already matched your Celsius and Coinbase account email addresses, no further action is required. Your existing email address will be used for your claim distribution. To add an alternative distribution email, you can go to your profile within the app, and then you'll be required to verify your new alternative distribution email through your email, and that is how you would link that. But again, if your Celsius and Coinbase email addresses match, you do not have to do anything. And again, for PayPal and Venmo, creditors will have one year to withdraw. But I don't think withdraw again is the right word. It's really having to do with claiming your property or claiming your crypto, which this has been floating around as well. This picture here, I don't know anybody that has gotten it personally, but I guess you will get a claim code through your email and then you'll have to verify your date of birth and then you can literally click this button and then you'll get your crypto inside of your PayPal account. And here is what happens if it says your information is incorrect in the PayPal or Venmo Celsius claim form. They say confirm your claim code and date of birth obviously are entered correctly. And then it gives you some instructions to make sure that you basically submitted all of your KYC information inside of PayPal or Venmo. I'm not gonna read through this, but if you're having issues and it's giving you some error code, when you're trying to redeem your claim code right here, you do wanna make sure that you're going through these steps. So talking about the mining co shares. So starting on February 1st, we will be getting information probably through email about how to claim it right here. So right now there's nothing to do. You don't need to do anything but this apparently will be how we will be getting our stock in equity. And don't worry, I'll include the links to this article that I'm reading so you can go ahead and make sure that you have access to all of this. So this is the document that came out yesterday on the 31st. Let me go through this for you guys and let you know what I think about everything. So the effective date of the plan occurred today, January 31st. The debtors and the distribution agents have commenced the process of making liquid crypto and cash distributions. Each eligible creditor will receive an email from Stretto or the plan administrator at the last email address on file with the debtors with information about the steps required to receive their liquid crypto distributions from the applicable distribution agent. And again here, it may take up to two weeks to send instructions to eligible creditors on the next steps for receiving their distributions. They say here that Celsius will file an additional notice on the docket, which of course I will cover and let you guys know, 
once all of those emails are sent to all the creditors eligible for such a distribution. So the only time that I would worry about, oh my gosh, I didn't get an email, is when Celsius files a document saying that they emailed everybody and then you never got it. At that point, you will probably have an email address to email or somebody to call and say, hey, I did not get instructions on how to get my crypto out. I need some help here. But until that happens, you can take a deep breath because we will have some time. Here, very important, no distributions will be made via the debtor's mobile application or web application. So this goes to the phishing attempts. There will be a lot of fake emails coming your way saying, log in to get your crypto or all this crap. And you just got to realize that they are all scams. So this is a chart showing where people are going to be getting their crypto. Most people, again, in the United States will be getting it from PayPal and Venmo. Outside of the US will be getting it from Coinbase. So those who are getting crypto from PayPal or Venmo, meaning those in the United States, will receive an email from Stretto with a code for collecting their claim distribution through a creditor claim form. So it's probably going to look, again, something like one of these two pictures. Inputting the claim code on the creditor claim form will initiate the holder's claim distribution, which will be completed through their PayPal or Venmo account. Holders assigned to receive their liquid crypto distribution from Coinbase, so those of you guys who do not live in the United States, will receive an email communication from Stretto with an update on whether a distribution was made successfully and next steps to take if it was not delivered successfully. So I've been seeing on Twitter, even right now as I'm recording this, people are logging in, or some people, don't worry if you're not one of these people, they're logging into their PayPal, they're logging into their Coinbase, and they're seeing something regarding Celsius. So already they're beginning to do certain things to kind of connect people's accounts. So these are the US dollar values of Bitcoin and ETH that they locked in the distribution rates, which is actually a pretty good price, but I still think that, or at least I don't understand exactly how they got to the percentages, which I'll probably cover again in a future video because it's kind of a long video. But anyway, we have around a $43,000 Bitcoin and a $2,500 ETH. So the numbers that you guys want to know are right here. The initial liquid crypto distribution percentage is 57.9%. The Mining Co. stock is going to be 14.9%. That'll bring it to a 72.8% initial distribution. And then we have the asset recovery percentage. This will be money that will come in over the next couple months and even years. And they're estimating that to be around 6.4%. So that would bring the total recovery to around 79.2%. So before I get all nerdy with some of the numbers and some of the issues that I have with this amount they're giving back, or at least some questions that I have that I hope they answer, I first just want to break down exactly what this 72% actually looks like. Or a little easier, I'll just go with the initial crypto distribution of 50, let's just say 58% back. So let's say in your Celsius wallet, you had one Bitcoin. We know that, that one Bitcoin is going to be valued at $19,880. That was a petition day pricing. So here again, we are getting back approximately 58% of our claim in crypto. And then we're getting more back in recovery stock and also in illiquid asset recovery. But just in the initial crypto distribution, 58%. So we're getting 58% of that $19,880. Again, this is if you just had one Bitcoin in your earn account. So that would be a recovery of $11,530 or so. And again, they are valuing Bitcoin at just under $43,000. So let's say Bitcoin is $43,000, which it still is even at the time of me making this video. So that means your $11,530 would get you around point. 26 Bitcoin. So this is where people naturally are a little bit like pissed or not a little bit pissed, a lot pissed. Because just with the crypto recovery, if you just had Bitcoin, you're going to get about a fourth of your Bitcoin back. Now, if you held other coins, the percentage back will be different. It won't always be 26% 
of your coins across the board back. If you just held USDC or USDT or another stable coin, you would be getting back exactly 58% of your stable coins. But if you held a coin like Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, or any coin that really went up quite a bit since the bankruptcy petition, you are gonna get a pretty low percent of your actual coins back. So that's why without me knowing exactly what coins you held and how many of each and the exact makeup of your claim, it's impossible to know the exact percent of your coins you're gonna get back. It really depends on the composition of your claim. But since most people held Bitcoin or at least held primarily Bitcoin, I believe, this is a pretty good estimate. I'll do another example for you guys. So let's say that you held Solana and the bankruptcy price for Solana was $34 a token. So if all you held in your earn account was 100 SOL tokens and at $38 per SOL, that would be a $3,800 claim. So 58% of your $3,800 claim, this is if you held 100 SOL tokens, that would be $2,204. And it looks like the current price of Solana has been going on a roller coaster, but let's just say it averaged out at $100 per token. So if Sol was $100, which it is right now, your $2,204, which you'd get back in Bitcoin and ETH, that would buy you around 22 Solana tokens, if that makes sense. You would take 2,204 divided by 100, and then you could purchase back. If you wanted to buy soul back, you get 22, but you started out with 100. So in this case, you'd be getting even less. You'd be getting 22% of your soul back rather than around 26% for Bitcoin. And that is because Sol has appreciated more in a percentage basis since the bankruptcy petition than Bitcoin. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope this wasn't too confusing for you guys. Again, if you just held Bitcoin, you're getting around 26% of your Bitcoins back, but you are going to be getting some more money down the road. You are going to be getting this 15% of recovery stock. I don't know how much you can actually sell this or how much we'll be able to sell this immediately on the open market. That is another entirely different video about this stock and about selling it and getting liquidity for it. That is an entirely different conversation. So that's why I'm not really counting this. I'm really only counting how many coins we're getting back and how much that will be worth. And this 6.4% in a liquid asset recovery, this should come back possibly either in US dollars or Bitcoin and Ethereum down the road. So this shows exactly how much you would get back if you had a $100,000 claim. You would get around that 57.9% back of crypto. You'd get around, in this example, 30.5% back in Bitcoin and 27.4% back in ETH. And then you'd get back 14.9% of your claim, so $14,900 worth of these mining co shares. So that would bring the grand total to 72.8%. And this is not including the 6.4% that they're projecting to get over the next couple months and years. And this is interesting as well. So claims amount should be increased by 5% if the holder did not opt out of the class claim settlement. So I'm a little confused by this, to be honest. I know that people that did not opt out got an extra 5% of their claim. So their claim amount went to 105%. So to be quite honest, I'm not quite sure if we should all be getting an extra 5%. They didn't really include this in the numbers here. So that will be determined later, I guess. But here they said excludes potential future distributions from illiquid assets and release of reserves. So this is talking about all of these lawsuits that I covered in I think my last video or so that Celsius is involved with. So Celsius is suing a lot of different people and companies and any money that comes back would go back to creditors, including things like suing Mashinsky and the other founders, also getting money back from Tether and other lawsuits like that. And they also say that these numbers do not include releases of reserves. And from my understanding, that would be right here, claim reserves. So they are holding back distributions for a lot of different reasons. And the total amount that they are holding back as of November 17th was $613 million, which is quite a lot of money. So $317 million is from withdraw preference exposure, aka 
clawbacks. We have $150 million of unliquidated litigation, indemnification, and other claims. Okay, cool. And then $102 million they are holding back from unsecured loan claims. So I'm saying all this because we may end up getting more money back. These are the initial distributions, and I'm hoping that, again, we get a lot more money back. And in my next video, I'll talk a little bit more about how I disagree with the amount they're giving back, but I'll end the video there for you guys. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So thanks for watching. Again, I will include my donation links in the description. You don't need to, but if I have helped you out in any way over the last 18, 19, 20 months, or however long this has been happening, and when you get your distribution or before, if you want to send me a tip via PayPal, Venmo, Coinbase, Cash App, whatever is easiest for you, that would be awesome if you feel like doing so. Other than that, I will keep you guys posted. There's a lot more that will be coming through the docket and things that we'll need to do. And I will, again, keep you guys as posted as I can. Join my email list if you haven't already. And that's it, guys. So this is actually a very good step. I'm hoping people get their money back and they start messaging me and saying that it is in their accounts and more and more people are sending me those messages. So that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.